In this video, you are going to see the complete details of the Mi Fitness application. This is the application you need to download. It is available on both Android and iOS devices. The app interface looks the same on both platforms. The options, settings, everything looks similar on both mobile phones. So you don't need to worry about which mobile phone I'm showing you the complete settings on because everything works the same. Now I'm connecting to the Mi Band 9. After connecting, it shows when it is synchronized followed by the battery percentage and some more fitness data. If you want, you can go online, search for different band faces and apply them. There is a restriction for the storage in the band so you cannot download all these and use them all together. There is a good list of different band phases available so you can choose the one you like. Now I'm applying one for reference. First it downloads and after that the band phase will be automatically applied once the download completes. In the local section, it shows all the downloaded faces. You can apply them with a tap and even customize them. Depending on the watch face style, the customization options will change. Next, we have some more options including the notifications tab where you can enable or disable your mobile app notifications. If you enable app notifications, you will see the list of applications and you can turn each one on or off separately. The next section is fitness and health. Here you can see the heart rate settings and change them if you want. You can even set an alert for the highest and lowest heart rate. Next is sleep tracking. I enabled both options and I'm currently checking it. I'll talk more about this in the full review video. Next is blood oxygen, which is enabled for all day tracking. It's nothing but SPO2. We also get stress monitoring. The next option is standing alert. It reminds you to stand up at the time it sets. But the thing is, there is no customization for the timing. It is fixed to one hour by default. The next option is steps, where you can see the calories burned, the steps you have taken, and uh, you can customize it as per your needs. Next is vitality score where you get notifications for the goals you added. Next section is apps. You can set the alarm clock, sync events with the calendar for 7 days, use task reminders, check the weather and even use the world clock. Next is system settings. Here you can see a list of options. First is widgets. You can rearrange the widgets as per your liking. If you want, you can delete them as well. The next option is sort apps. The built-in apps can be arranged just like the widgets. Next is vibration where you can customize each alert. As you can see here, these are the different options. If you want, you can create a custom vibration pattern of your own. The next option is sleep mode. You can set up sleep mode by scheduling the timings. If you want, you can make one wake up alarm as well. There is no speaker on this band only vibration. Next is find device. If the band is connected to your mobile phone, choosing this option will make the band vibrate like this. 
the next option is security where you can set a six digit pin for the band let me show you how it looks as you can see on the top of the band there is a lock symbol if you tap it it locks the band now it asks for the pin if you enter the pin correctly then only it unlocks next is additional settings you can also enable automatic updates as per your needs if you want to unpair the band from this mobile phone just click at the bottom so these are all the device options and settings we get now let's move to the workout option here it shows a lot of things related to workouts you name the workout it's already there in the app that means this band can track it it shows the statistics of the workouts you did and some more useful data as well i use this band mainly for tracking workouts followed by steps and sleep yes there are a lot of other options available i use them now and then but these three are my priority if you want you can share the statistics as an image or save it next if i go to the health section this is how the interface looks on the top it shows today's statistics you can customize this depending on your goals and one more thing the data is synced across all mobile phones you connect this band to let's say you use this band for one week on android and another week on iphone whatever data was there before switching will also show on the iphone and the same goes for the iphone to android i'll talk more about sleep tracking data and other details in the full review so that you understand it much better if you click on each option you get more detailed statistics the blood sugar option is not available for this band these are the settings and features we get in this application guys and one more thing if you go to the profile tab then third party data from here you can enable or disable the data that is transferred from this application to others since i'm showing you on an iphone it shows apple health on android it shows different applications like this this is all about the mobile application guys now let's see the band options and settings You can change the faces according to your preference. If you swipe from bottom to top, you can see the different applications in the band. If you go to workout, you can see a long list of options. There is a big list for every workout type you can select. The main reason behind this is based on the workout we do, the body movements, intensity, heart rate, everything changes. So if you select the correct workout type, you will get the most accurate data from this band. If you want to go back from any menu, just swipe from the left. Only the back gesture is there. There are a lot of options related to fitness and different workouts. Once you explore them, you will understand everything clearly. I want to mention one more time, there is no speaker on this band, it only vibrates. The brightness of this band is very high. It is clearly visible even in the direct sunlight. So you don't need to worry about brightness levels. To access notifications, you can swipe from the top just like on a mobile phone. If you swipe from the left or right, you can see the different widgets. 
So that's it guys. I hope this video clearly showcase all the settings and features that we get with the Mi Band. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment box so that I can address them in the full review video. If not, at least I'll try to reply to your comment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again in the next video.